Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Simple Stories Simple Vintage Lemon Twist 6x8 Paper Pad. This is a double-sided paper collection with 24 papers. So I'm just going to lay out all of the papers so you can see everything that's included. There are two sheets that have the 3x4 image and sentiment cut-aparts, which is really fun. They also have quite a few sheets that have a full 6x8 image. Now, I don't use those, but you could use them in a scrapbook. You could cut them down and add them to a card, but I prefer just to use the opposite side of the paper. In addition to the paper pad, I also picked up four of the coordinating 12 by 12 sheets. I really love this plaid paper, so I got two of those and then also two of these tone on tone patterns. Here's the opposite side of the paper. I'm not using any of the 12 by 12 size of the patterns. I will use some of that butterfly pattern, but the six by eight size. And the only other item I purchased is the ephemera pack. There's 41 pieces. I didn't really lay those out very neatly, but you get an idea of what's included. This paper collection has been super popular already, so many of the items sold out quickly. I will add links in the description box for the full collection. I only purchased those few items, but they have quite a few things that go along with this collection. Stickers, I think there's even a stamp set, more of the ephemera pieces, so quite a big variety. Let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I'm using a card sketch from MFT. This is number 376. I will be finishing off the entire paper pad, but I'm only showing the assembly of one card of each design. And I believe I'm doing 10 different card designs in this video. Most of my cards, I did try to keep them fairly flat since I'll be donating them to a local charity. This first card, I used some of that 12 by 12 plaid paper for the background, added a two inch strip of the butterfly paper and also just that narrow strip of the yellow tone on tone pattern. I used a Love From Lizzie peel off to put between those two patterns for a little extra sparkle. For the sentiment, I'm using a set from Pretty Pink Posh. This is thank you for everything you do. Just stamp that on a stitch circle die cut and I'll layer that on a scallop circle die cut. I used lots of black cardstock for the layers. Also use some teal as well. There's not a lot of colors in this collection, so it makes it really easy to select your colors. Before I adhere this circle down, I will put some scrap cardstock on the right side where it goes off of that butterfly paper. That'll keep it nice and level on the card. And I am following this sketch fairly closely. To finish off the card, I'll use some more Love From Lizzie peel-offs. These are the mini circles in the teal mirror color. They're great for embellishments since they don't add any extra bulk. So there is my finished card and I did end up making three using this sketch. So for all of the cards except for one, I did make multiples. For card design number two, I'm using another card sketch. This is OWH number 161. Now I will be altering this sketch. Instead of a vertical card, I'll be making a horizontal card. So I am altering the measurements that are already listed on the sketch. I have some fun B paper for the background, adding some black and white gingham paper for that strip across the card, layering everything on some black cardstock. I'll put my card front onto a card base, and all of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size. I used a stitch oval die to cut out this yellow oval. Use some of the yellow tone on tone pattern paper. It's hard to see in the video, but it has some flowers and butterflies in the background. Now before adhering this down, I'll put that scrap cardstock above and below where it goes over that gingham strip. And I found it easier just to cut out another circle and then I trimmed it down so it's not exactly the same size. I didn't want any of that white cardstock to be peeking around the edge. I'll adhere it in place with some liquid adhesive. For the sentiment on the card, I'm using a set from Honey Bee Stamps. This is my favorite flower. Before starting on the sentiment, I'll add an image using a die from Paper Rose. This is their Wild Flowers number three. I cut it out from some yellow glitter cardstock. And I'll just adhere that in place with some liquid adhesive. So now I'll work on the sentiment. 
have some black cardstock and I'll do some heat embossing with some white embossing powder. So first I'll add some anti-static powder, just trying not to get some of those little stray pieces. I'll stamp it using some Versamark ink and I'm using Wow embossing powder. I'll try to tap off the extra, wipe away a few of those strays. Then I'll heat set it with my embossing gun. So even though I use the anti-static powder, I do end up with a few of the little stray white pieces. But most of them were at the lower portion of the sentiment, so you're not going to see them. I'm using the coordinating die to cut this out. And I love Honeybee Stamps coordinating dies that go around their sentiment. It cuts them out perfectly. Before adhering it to the card, I'm adding some scrap cardstock on the right side of the sentiment. And I decided just to use the die, cut out a second piece, and then I just trimmed off the left portion and glued the two pieces together. I really like how the white sentiment pops against the black cardstock. To finish off the card, I'm using some more of Love From Lizzie's peel-offs in the mini circle style. This is the gold mirror color. Put two of them in the lower left-hand corner, two in the upper right-hand corner, and one next to the image. So there is my finished card and I made four using this sketch. It's so easy to make multiple cards when you're using a six by eight paper pad since you can get two backgrounds from one sheet of paper. For card design number three, using a sketch from MFT, this is number 552. This beautiful butterfly paper for the background. I'll be adding some gold peel offs. This is the pinstripe style. So I'm putting two of these strips along the lower portion of the card. And just to make sure I get them straight, I have it lined up with my craft mat. I will be adding the image and sentiment over both of those peel-offs, so I can use some of the scraps. I like to use a full strip for that first piece to make sure to get it nice and straight. And then for the second one, it's nice to use some of the peel-off scraps, since you always end up with some smaller pieces. But you never throw them away, since there's always a use for them. I layered this panel on some black cardstock and then again on some green, kind of a teal cardstock. It has a pearlescent finish on it. I'll add some of the yellow gingham paper that I layered on some black cardstock. And for the image, I'm using one of the ephemera pieces. It's a beautiful floral piece. I put some thin foam squares on the upper portion of the flower and then adhered the stem using some liquid adhesive. For the sentiment, I'll be adding the word thanks, and this is from Jaded Blossom's Basic Word Dies. It has the word and also the outline. I cut out thanks using some gold satin mirror cardstock, put some liquid adhesive on the back, and adhere it to the black cardstock outline. Once that's in place, I'll pop it up using some more of the thin foam squares. I like how there's black and also the white. And since the background of the sentiment is black, it's nice to use the black foam square. So you're not gonna see that little bit of white from behind. Once I remove all of the release paper, I'll adhere the sentiment on the lower portion of the stem of the flower. Then a finishing touch, I'll add some more of the mini circle peel offs in the gold mirror color, using the largest size and putting three of them in the upper left hand corner. Also decided to add some sparkle to the center of the flower. I used a scrapbook.com's clear glitter brush for that. So there's my finished card. I did make a total of four. For the other two cards, I used a different pattern paper for the background, and all of the cards have a different ephemera piece. I only bought the one ephemera pack, so I don't have any duplicates. Now moving on to card design number four, using one of my favorite card sketches from OWH. This is number 218. I love using this sketch when I wanna feature some pretty pattern paper. I have some more of the plaid pattern paper for the background and I use the 12 by 12 paper for that, adding a strip of some teal polka dot paper, lining that with some more Love From Lizzie peel offs using the teal mirror color in the widest width. So here I'll be able to use some of those scrap pieces since you're not gonna see the center of that top line of the peel-offs. 
layer this panel on some of the teal cardstock and then again on some black cardstock. For my cardstock layers, I usually add an additional eighth of an inch to the measurements listed on the sketch. So those measurements on this sketch are usually for the pattern paper. Now this OWH sketch does have the measurements for that matted layer as well. Before adhering the lemon pattern paper, I did add some scrap cardstock to the upper portion. For the sentiment, I'm using a set from Jaded Blossom. I've already stamped this out, thank you. Cut a fishtail on the left side, layered it on some black cardstock. I'll add that scrap piece of cardstock to the left side before adhering it in place. For those three small circles indicated on the sketch, I'm using some more Love From Lizzie mini circle peel offs, this time in black. So there is my finished card, and I did make a total of four using this sketch. One thing I found very interesting with this collection, there's really only one or two pattern papers that feature lemons. I just thought that was unusual since lemon is part of the title of the collection. It's still a beautiful collection with lots of butterflies, flowers, and bees, but I was a little disappointed there's not more lemons in it. For this card, very simple card design. I wanted to use some of the three x four cut aparts that are included in the paper collection. I have some of the teal tone on tone pattern paper for the background, adding a banner of the black and white pattern paper. I layered the cut apart on some black cardstock. I'll put my card front onto a card base. For this card, I will leave an eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Then for a final finishing touch, I'll bring in some more of the Love From Lizzie peel-offs in the mini circle style. This is the gold mirror color. Just adding three of them around the image. I really wanted to keep this set of cards very flat. So there's my finished card. I did make four. Just used some different cut aparts for each of the cards and also different pattern papers just depended on what scraps I currently had left over. When the paper collections include such lovely cut aparts, you don't really need to add a lot more to your cards. For card design number six, using some more of that teal tone on tone pattern paper for the background, I used a die set from Pretty Pink Posh. This is their stacked edges die set number one. Cut out two of these chevron border die cuts. One from the black and white polka dot paper and the second using the yellow tone on tone pattern paper. Putting some liquid adhesive on the back and adhering them to the lower portion of the card. Now the dies are designed where you can stack them together, but I decided to overlap them. That way I'll have a narrow black and white polka dot piece and then the yellow is a little bit wider. Then I just flipped over this panel using my scissors to trim off the extra. Now what you won't see in the video is me testing out the sharpness of my scissors. And yes, they are sharp. I was using a baby wipe to clean off the liquid adhesive from the blade of my scissors and instead cut the tip of my finger. So now I will have a bandage on for the rest of the video. My fingertip was definitely sensitive, but I survived. I layered the panel on some teal cardstock, put my card front onto a card base. For the image on the card, I'll use another floral ephemera piece. I'm gonna pop up just the top portion of the floral area, and then put some liquid adhesive for the stem and the leaves. Now this is a fairly long ephemera piece, probably worked better for a vertical card. So I'll have just the very bottom portion of the stem going off the edge of the card. I'll just flip over the card and trim off the extra. I'll also add one of the little bees, and I am popping it up using some more of the thin foam squares. For the sentiment on the card, I'm using Paper Roses All Occasion Sentiment Sheets. So I have Hello Beautiful. On the left side, I cut it at an angle just for some extra interest and adhere the sentiment down using some liquid adhesive. To finish off the card, I'll use some more of the mini circle peel-offs, this time in the teal mirror color. Put two of them to the right of the floral image and one above the sentiment. And I also decided to add a little bit of sparkle to the bee's wings and the yellow flower. There is my finished card and I did make four using this card design. Again, just changed up some of the sentiment and ephemera pieces. 
I love the sentiment cut apart sheets from Paper Rose. They have quite a few available with lots of different sentiments. They're great if you don't like to do a lot of stamping. For card design number seven, I have some white shimmer cardstock for the background. And just to add a little extra detail, I'm using Honeybee Stamps quilted cover plate die. Adds that fun stitch detail to the background. I also have four stitch circle die cuts, two with a beautiful butterfly pattern and two in that yellow tone on tone design. I'll be adding the four circles onto this greenish teal cardstock. And I did round the corners using a corner chomper. I'm using some liquid adhesive to adhere the four circles down. For the yellow circles, the design is direction specific, but it's hard to see. I was trying to make sure to adhere them right side up, even though I will be covering up one of the circles. Put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere this piece onto that quilted background. Before I layer this piece with the other cardstock, I'll be adding a few of the peel offs on the lower portion. And I will be covering up the very center, so this is the perfect opportunity to use up some of those smaller pieces of the peel offs. I'm using the widest width and also the narrowest width, and this is the teal mirror color in the pinstripe style. I like to wrap the ends around the back, that way they're not gonna fall off later. Put some ATG tape on the back, layer the panel on some black cardstock first, and then again on this greenish teal cardstock. And this is the back side of a pearlescent cardstock. The color just matched a little nicer than that pearlescent side. So put my card front onto a card base. I can start working on the sentiment. And I've already stamped this out. This is Thinking of You, and it's from an Alta New stamp set. I love the font. I'll cut a fishtail on both ends, and I use some of the pattern paper for that sentiment. Now before adhering the sentiment to the card, I'm adding a strip of solid cardstock. And this will just add a little extra stability. Put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the lower portion of the card. And the cardstock will also make sure that those peel offs won't show through for the front. Sometimes you'll get just that little bit of a bump. Adding one of the butterfly ephemera pieces to the upper right hand corner. And then to finish off the card, adding some more of the mini circle peel offs in the teal mirror color. And since the butterfly needed some sparkle, I'm using the scrapbook.com clear glitter brush. So there is my finished card and I did make a total of seven using this card design. This is a great design for finishing off some of those smaller pattern paper scraps. Now moving on to card design number eight. I'm using another card sketch. This is from Mojo Monday. It's number 539. I have some of the teal polka dot paper for the background, adding some plaid paper for that narrow strip. Now on this sketch, it does have that strip at one and a half inches. I like it a little wider, so I did one and three quarter inches. For the half inch strip that goes across the card, I decided not to bring in any other pattern papers, so instead I'll use some more of the solid cardstock. Before adhering it in place, I will add those scrap cardstock pieces to the right and left side where it goes over the plaid paper. Put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the card. Then I'll put ATG tape on the back and add this panel onto the teal cardstock layer. The colors in this collection are so beautiful. It's the main reason I bought it, plus I was hoping there were more lemons in it. But as I mentioned earlier, there's not a lot of lemons in this collection. I'm adding a scallop circle die cut and I use some white shimmer cardstock for that. Add some scrap cardstock to the upper portion of this circle before adhering it to the card. I'll bring in some more of the ephemera pieces. So there's several different lemon ephemera pieces. This is the largest one. It has the little branch and the leaves on the top and I'll pop it up using some of the thin foam squares. Remove the release paper and adhere it to that circle. And it does go off the edge of the circle, but that's okay. For the sentiment, I have the word hello, and this is from Jaded Blossom's Happy Hello Sentiment Set. It's one of my favorites. I love using the sentiment hello 
or really any general sentiment. Before adhering this in place, I will add that scrap piece of cardstock to the left side and then adhere it using some liquid adhesive. For the banner that's in the upper left hand corner, just bringing in some more of this solid cardstock. And you can use some of the banner dies that are available. Sometimes I do, other times I'll just cut the fishtail myself. So there's my finished card and this time I made a total of eight. Just use some different pattern paper and ephemera pieces. Since I knew I'd be finishing off this paper collection, I wanted to use as many ephemera pieces as possible. I did end up with just a few left over and those were all given to my daughter since she loves to make cards as well. Now moving on to card design number nine. And this is a card I only make one. I'm using a card sketch from OWH. This is number 116. I have some white shimmer cardstock for the background. For the smaller rectangle piece, I have some more of the black and white gingham paper. So I'll do the double matted layer for the background, first on black and then again on this greenish teal cardstock. Because this paper collection is six by eight in size versus the six by six that I usually use, I decided not to record this video in my six by six style. With the larger paper size, it's hard to fit all of the paper on screen and still have enough room to craft. And it also ends up to be a super long video. But to those that love my six by six video, don't worry, I have quite a stack of six by six paper pads just waiting for me to get started. I have fall, Halloween, and more Christmas coming. I'm adding a strip of the teal and white polka dot paper. And I did make that strip quite a bit narrower than what's indicated on the sketch. I'm putting some of the teal mirror peel-offs along the edge using the thinnest width, and that will add just a little extra shine to the card. So I'll wrap the ends around the back, and I've already adhered some of this scrap cardstock to the very ends of this strip where it goes over the black and white gingham pattern paper. So put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the card. And I will be modifying this sketch just a little bit. So instead of having that large circle in the center of the card, I'll be offsetting it to the left side. Now normally I would add that scrap cardstock to the upper portion of this circle, but I'll be covering up most of the circle with an image, so I decided to pass on that step. I'm using some of Jaded Blossom tea dyes. I use the pattern paper to cut out this fun little tea bag. I also have the cup and saucer. So I use some yellow cardstock for the saucer and then that same greenish teal cardstock for the teacup. I'll adhere those in place using some liquid adhesive. The die set also includes this little piece for the drink inside your cup. Wanted to make it a little more realistic with some tea inside the cup, so I used some gold mirror cardstock. I'll add just that little bit of shine. And I couldn't decide where I wanted to put the tea bag. So it has the string for the tea bag and also the little paper piece, but I didn't want it inside the cup, so I decided to have it sitting next to the teacup. And when I cut out the bag, the little tea bag, I made sure to use the lemon portion on the pattern paper. I thought that was really cute. So I'm just gluing all of this together using some liquid adhesive. And the die set also includes a larger tea bag, so that's really fun as well. If you've been following along with my videos this year, you know that I've been making a lot of coffee themed cards. Now, I do not like the taste of coffee. I love the smell, but for some reason, I've really been enjoying making coffee themed cards. But I saw that Jaded Blossom also has some tea dyes and also a tea stamp set. So I decided I would pick those up and make some tea themed cards. So this sentiment is from Jaded Blossom. It's their Hello QT stamp set. So cute, I love this sentiment on this set. I stamped it on some of the yellow pattern paper. So this is, thank you for your generosity. Isn't that fun? Layered it on some black cardstock, 
I'll put some of the scrap pieces of cardstock on the right hand side where it goes off of that circle die cut but I'll also be popping it up using some thin foam squares. Remove the release paper and adhere it in the upper right hand corner. To finish off the card, I'll bring in some more Love From Lizzie peel-offs in the mini circle style. This is the teal mirror color. Put two of them in the lower left hand corner and one to the right of the teacup. So there is my finished card. I love how this one turned out. A little bummed I wasn't able to make more than one, but at this point I don't have a lot of pattern paper left over. So here is everything I currently have. There's just a few of the larger pieces. The rest are fairly small scraps, but I'm not finished. Definitely can make more cards using what's left over. For card design number 10, this is my final card design. I'm using Waffle Flowers Quilt Circle Panel Die. I love this die, it's one of my favorites and you'll see it quite often in my six by six videos. I cut out the panel from some white shimmer cardstock, flipped it over and I'm adding some double sided tape to the back and I used one inch tape. It's perfect for the back side. This panel is an A2 size. There's no extra room around the outside. Then using 12 different pattern papers, I cut out all of these circles and I generally cut out one or two of the circles at a time. I just lay them on the back side of the die and run it through my machine. One thing I love about this die, those circles are all exactly the same size. You don't always find that with these cover dies, so I think this is really important. That way you don't have to keep track of which circle goes where. Once all of the circles are adhered in place, I remove the release paper and adhere my card front onto a card base. And I did have just a sliver of the card base showing, so I went and trimmed that off. For the sentiment, I'm using Honey Bee Stamps My Favorite Flower Sentiment Set. It's the same one I used on a previous card. Did the same thing, some heat embossing on some black cardstock. I wanted to add just a little bit of dimension, so I cut out a second die cut piece and glued the two pieces together. So it does have that little bit of dimension without thick dimension, so I won't have to pay anything extra to mail the card. For finishing touch, I'm adding a couple small butterfly die cuts. The butterfly dies were included in a previous Love From Lizzie kit, so I'm not sure if they're still available. If I can find them, I will add a link in the description box. Final finishing touch, just adding a couple of the Love From Lizzie mini circle peel-offs in the gold mirror color. So there is my finished card and I was able to make a total of six using this design. So here are all the leftover pattern paper scraps. Not a lot left over. I do use quite a few of the thin strips and line them on the inside of my card just for some extra decoration. You may have noticed that little detail in the photos of my cards throughout the video. In addition to the paper pad and those four sheets of 12 by 12 pattern paper, I also used 18 sheets of eight and a half by 11 and nine sheets of 12 by 12 solid colored cardstock. I made a total of 45 cards using Simple Stories, Simple Vintage, Lemon Twist, 6x8 paper pad. This collection is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. I love the little bit of lemon in there. I would have preferred some more lemons, but the butterflies and the floral designs are beautiful as well. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. These are affiliate links. I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you when you make a purchase using those links. I have one more short summer video to share, but after that I'm heading into fall, Halloween, and Christmas cards. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.